Well, let us come now to the material master data. Material master uh, within SAP is organized in different views. So you have your material, which has uh, a specific number. You can enter it manually if set up, or the system will generate the number automatically. Each material has a basic data. Basic data means like uh, basic data, which is uh, valid for this material over all plants or sales organization or, or purchasing organizations. Like, of course, the name, and it could be as well a kind of product hierarchy or material class classification. This is the basic data. And you have then uh, different views. Of course, basic data is as well a view, but uh, generally SAP organizes the material within different views. So you have your sales view, your purchasing views, plant data, and others. There are up to, I think, uh, 52 different views, let's say for accounting and quality management and purchasing and so on. The sales data is organized in, in different uh, sales views, sales one, sales two, and sales plant, I think. As I remember what we will see later on in the system, and here you maintain uh, for your material the sales specific uh, data based on the combination of sales org and distribution channel. So for each combination of sales organization and distribution channel, you can maintain your own data. And if you want to use this material within a sales order and within the sales process, then the maintenance of the material for a specific sales organization and distribution channel must fit to the header data within the sales order. So you create a sales order for a specific sales organization, then this material must be also maintained for the sales organization and distribution channel. After this theoretical description of the material master, let's come to the system and see how a material master, master looks like uh, within SAP. Here I am again within SAP Fiori. I will use this uh, app or this tile, change material, uh, change material. And my material number is 495. Just push enter. Then you have the possibilities to select which views you want to maintain. I've selected the basic data and the sales data, and I can deselect these ones. I'm not interested in them. And the system asks me for the sales organization and distribution channel, and as well a plant, because a couple of fields within the sales views are related, or um, um, yeah, it's based uh, on on plants okay now i have i'm here within the sales data so i have my uh, material number i have my description with is just mean t let me just change it this mean t description of the material i have the basic unit of measurement so it's usually basically uh, the the lowest uh, unit of measurement, I think um, we can call it as well as the lowest, is the is pieces here. I have the assignment to a specific division. I have the material group, weights, and so on. If I come now to the sales organization, I will see my sales data for this material, specifically for the sales organization 7000 7, North Sales and Distribution Channel 02. Here I have again the uh, base unit of measurement. I have the sales unit. So usually this material is sold based on cartons. I have again the division. Here, a uh, very important topic, the text classification. So it is, this material is uh, full text relevant. There could be as well materials which have only half text. Here I have the possibility of minimum order quantities and so on. In the area of sales two here, I have uh, again, header data. I have grouping items like the uh, item category, group, 
the general one and the sales specific one. Here, the assignment to um, account assignment. If you do a, an invoicing, then the accounting for, for this invoice will be determined based on this, could be determined based on this uh, indicator. I have a statistics group and I have a different possibility of grouping the materials. This could be used for reporting or for, for pricing and for controlling the process. And finally, I have the area of sales uh, general plant data. Here I have again the weights, a transportation group, a loading group, important for um, scheduling the sales order and finding the shipping point. I have your assignment to a profit center and if it is a packaging material, then I can additionally maintain packaging information. So basically this is the view on the sales, uh, on the material master. As I told you, there are many, many other views like MRP, material requirement planning, advanced planning, forecasting, warehousing, accounting, warehouse management, and so on. Here uh, we have the area of purchasing. So general view on the material master, different views, and our area of interest here is the sales data, which we have seen in the system in Fury for a specific material now. Thank you for your attention and see you on the next module.